Hello, welcome to Loof Channel Programming uh, Lessons and uh, let's start our first lesson in Python programming language. So in this uh, lesson I will uh, try to introduce you to the use of uh, variables. Uh, it is very important to create a program which is uh, interactive so the user will be able to provide data, uh, to write something from the keyboard and that our program will read from the keyboard and assign those values to variables. As we will be able to find out, there are uh, different types of uh, variables, not only in Python, in every uh, programming language. So let's start with uh, some uh, basics. So let's say that we want to create a program that uh, interacts with uh, the user who runs it. And uh, this program asks uh, the user some questions. For example, uh, let's say that uh, we want to show a question on the screen. Uh, for that reason, uh, we will uh, use the print command. So uh, we use print parentheses and inside brackets we type the text that uh, we want to show on the screen. So for example, we can type there, please tell me your name so if we run the program now we will be able to find out that this text is shown on the screen please tell me your name so the the user who runs the program will type his name as an answer to the question and we want to assign this value, the user types on the keyboard, to a, a new variable. So that variable, uh, we need to provide a name to this variable. So we'll call it name equals input. So we use the input command every time we want to read from the keyboard. So now, if we want to show on the screen the answer uh, the user has uh, provided to the program, we'll type print and, uh, for example, your name is comma and the name of the variable. So now uh, the program is interactive. If we run it, it shows on the screen the text, please tell me your name. So we type, for example, uh, Luf. So uh, the outcome is, your name is Luf. Uh, alternatively, we could uh, remove this uh, print command, this line, and uh, we could uh, type the text we want uh, to be shown on uh, the screen inside the input parentheses, like that. Input, please tell me your name. So directly then we can type print your name is name and we will have exactly the same result. Let's say for example, Mary. Your name is Mary. Uh, now we will ask uh, the user for uh, his or her age. So we will use an age variable. And now that the variable will contain uh, a value that it is not text, it is something arithmetic. And uh, especially uh, the age is what we call an integer. It does not contain um, decimal positions. So uh, we use the, um, the command int in front of input, int parenthesis input, and then the text. Please tell me your age. 
So now we can uh, show the user's uh, age on the screen as well. For example, uh, print uh, you are. We close the brackets. When, when, wherever we type plain text, we use it inside brackets. But whenever we call the value of uh, a variable, the variable name goes outside uh, the brackets and we divide them with a comma. So you are age, comma again, years old. So if we run the program, Please tell me your name. Let's say Costas. Your name is Costas. Please tell me your age. 38. You are 38 years old. And another question for the user. Let's say that uh, we ask him or her for his height or her height. So if we uh, count uh, uh, a human being's height in meters, uh, then 100% uh, the, the value contains uh, decimal uh, parts, decimal, we have decimal positions. So in that case, we won't use an integer, we won't type int, but we will type float instead, float input. Now tie your height in meters. And uh, now this uh, answer is assigned to the height variable, so we will use another print command. Uh, you are, we close the brackets, comma, height meters tall. So let's run the whole program again. Just tell me your name, Tom. Please, your name is Tom. Please tell me your age, 23. You are 23 years old. Now type your height in meters, uh, 1.76 you are 1.76 meters tall. So uh, this is our lesson one of how to use uh, variables and uh, data types and how we show uh, the results on the screen uh, as well as how to use the input uh, command to interact with the user. Stay tuned because in the next lesson we will uh, use different ways of showing results on the screen uh, combined with print command as well as we will uh, use the if uh, case to check uh, out whether some conditions are true or false. Thank you very much.